All right, guys, I think it's time we talk about it. Is it even worth it to build a personal brand on X, aka Twitter, in 2024? This is for all of you agency owners, you coaches, you consultants, freelancers, B2B founders, anyone who wants to generate leads from X or become an authority. I want to walk you through what is going on with the algorithm in this video. I want to show you what's working, what's not, and I want to put an end to this debate and give you my verdict. Is it actually still worth it to build a personal brand in 2024 or should you completely throw it out the window so if you're watching this video then you probably already know x has been a cash cow it's an accelerator for the greatest personal brands and agency owners in the world and i'm not expecting a million people to watch this video if you are watching this video right now then you know the power of x if you're watching this then you know x has been this cash cow this accelerator for the greatest personal brands and agency owners in the space people are closing multi seven multi eight and nine figure clients from their personal brands. You've been seeing accounts like mine preaching this for years to join the freaking platform. It was like this glitch in the matrix. People on Instagram were losing their minds because they weren't getting their views. They weren't closing deals. The purchase intent was terrible. TikTok was even more of a mess. And everyone was looking at X as if it was this effortless platform where the greatest founders, the greatest CEOs are there and agency owners were able to just sign consistent clients and become this authority figure so quickly. We had people like Carl Weish who came in with a few hundred followers and he scaled to 30,000 followers, started signing nine figure brands, now has a massive team and is working with people like Alex Hormozzi or others like Dylan Ander who came into the platform competing with Carl and even him scaled his agency to hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars a month and became this authority. All of these guys were popping and we come to ask ourselves, okay, what is the current situation of the platform? It's the elephant in the room that we should be talking about because I think we all understand by this point X is not what it used to be right and back in the day all you had to do was provide some sort of technical value and your account was growing the algorithm was pushing you towards every right account that you needed to be shown to and it was pretty freaking simple but with simplicity with a low barrier of entry comes saturation and saturation leads to sophistication I can go ahead and start screaming from the top of the mountain it's the best time ever to build your personal brand no you missed it and that's the truth you missed that opportunity of the easiest moment so what are you going to do now pack your bags get out and restart and, and never go into business ever again no of course not you still need to acquire leads you still need to be building your presences and doing your lead gen and doing your outreach and running your paid ads you still need to be creating this acquisition ecosystem your personal brand is the nucleus across it all it's just not as easy as what it used to be but i'm going to show you guys how to navigate through this storm and this video. I'm going to walk you guys through all of the data that we have. We are working with countless accounts. I can see everything that's working. We're studying the algorithm. We're testing on people's accounts. I will show you what's working for us where my clients are still signing deals. My clients are still growing into these authorities. And let me walk you through it all. This means that it isn't as easy as it was to grow from back in the day. And thanks to the sophistication and combined with Elon's acquisition of Twitter, the entire platform has changed. What got me viral three years ago today will not work today. Twitter's not what it used to be. So it begs the question, is it worth it in 2024? So in this video, let's go over the algorithm. Let's go over the types of content that are working and what you should be doing. So what's going on with the algorithm? What changed with the algorithm? And why was it so easy before? And why is it so difficult now? Back in the day, all that mattered was the following page. But now Elon has introduced the For You page and reach is based off of that now. So the most important and the greatest content is what's going to be popping up the most. The For You page is based off of giving any account, regardless the size, the chance to go viral. Doesn't matter if you have 100 followers or 100,000 followers. We both are going to be competing for the same audience, but the only thing that's going to make one person win is how exceptional their content may be. So our objective is to produce exceptional content. Well, that's not the premise of this video. We understand that. We know that. That's that's not nothing mind-blowing. Let let me walk you through what this is actually becoming. X has effectively now become the written version of TikTok. The old styles of content that relied on our follow 
following to engage no longer work, everyone is now naturally on the For You page. Only a small percentage of your followers actually see your content. And this is gut-wrenching. This sucks. Think about it. I have 140,000 followers on Twitter and my content's not being shown to them. The rest is going to be pushed out to more people based on how well that tweet does and the keywords. That's the big kicker of today's video and I'll walk you through it. So our objective is to get on as many for you pages as possible and let me show you how you how to manipulate the algorithm to actually help you get on more for you pages. So X is no longer a social platform, it's an interest-based platform. Andrea said this, people on X complain about their reach is declining, people on LinkedIn complain, blah, 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 blah. The reason all the platforms are slowly moving from a social graph to an interest gra graph. In other words, you don't see content from people you follow, but the content that algorithm thinks you might be interested in. So how do you actually get on people who are interested in your content? That's what keywords are all about. So all we have to do is this, step one, start ranking for specific keywords. Within our content, we need to have a keyword in it. For me, it would be how to grow on X, how to build your personal brand, how to get leads from X. Start using them within your content. Check if your content is exceptional quality. I'm talking about it's conversational. It's not six steps to build your personal brand. It's an actual hook that is conversational where you and I are talking or something polarizing or an opinion. People want to start discussions and that's what X is moving towards, an, a discussion-based platform. So the quality content is more than just technical value. It's high quality. You have a specific keyword and then we get on more people's for you pages. I'm going to show you guys another way to manipulate the algorithm to show up on more few people's for you pages as well right after this. This is going to get us on brand new for you pages. But how can we find a way where we build this tribe of people where all of them are going to be engaging with us, where the same consistent group of people will always see our content and we're always showing up on their FYPs. That's all done through comments. X is the only social media platform that actually truly rewards commenting. If someone clicks on my profile, I'll end up on their for, for you page. If someone engages with my post and, and I engage back with them, I will show up on their for you page. If I engage with someone else's post and I comment back and they reply to me, I will show up on their for you page. My objective is to create content that's going to help you show up on as many qualified for you pages as possible. And your goal is not to engage like a bot. You can't be like, oh, um, here are oh facts. Oh, this is a fire emoji. You need real freaking comments, real bloody discussions. Nothing is working if you are going to go and be a bot. It's a personal brand for a reason. And our objective is to create content and engage with initial groups of people who want to be seeing our content so we can show up on their For You pages. So now we know interests are important, keywords within our content are important, and then we're gonna be engaging with people in starting real discussions. Now you're on the right for you pages, your reach is now fixed. Let's go into the types of content. Technical content pieces are these how-to, step-by-steps, and basic instructional contents. Like any other platform, different content pieces die out. Technical has died out. We moved away from technical content from basically every one of our clients. For our top of the funnel, we now have to cast the widest net with hot takes, stories, and motivational content. You're probably wondering well, Wiz, that's not going to get me any good um, qualified leads. It's going to get you on the right for you pages. It's going to get you more reach. It's going to get more people seeing your content. It's a wide net for a reason. And then you can narrow in with your nurturing content. The old funnel was authority content and stories, then business taste technicals and stories and authority content to promote. Now it's hot takes. Now it's real stories and experiences. Now it's motivation. Now it's pretty basic content pieces on the top of the funnel or a big fat claim or a big hot take or a polarizing opinion. Those are the content pieces that are gonna get more eyes on your content. Very simple to read stuff that also have keywords related to your niche. Then the middle of the funnel will be authorities, the case studies, and video content. X is changing its platform. They are going to add an entire feed for video content, guys. You need to be producing videos. Post them on YouTube, post them on Twitter. This is what is working. Have these types of videos, have raw takes, share your screen, show behind the scenes, let people know who you are. Examples of these pod content pieces. Here's an opinion, business is boring. 80% of what we do is repetitive tasks. Another one would be spent the last six months in a brutal Canadian winter without any distractions in screenshots. And I'm showing behind the scenes into my life. I'm showing revenue. It's showing people that we are no longer boring robots. There are motivational pieces of content. There are high level basic stuff, but that's to get 
onto other people's For You pages. This is how X has changed. X is not dead, it's changed and you gotta adapt. The code. Now let's talk about the actual code on, on X's algor algorithm. Alex Finn is a creator on X who is known for rigorously studying the algorithm's lines of code and constantly updating what's working, what isn't. In May 2024, he dropped his post below de detailing how your posts are ranked and action steps you need to take. So action step number one. Replies, drop as many comments as possible. The more the merrier, but they have to be legit. So Alex suggests commenting 100 times a day. Most of us don't have time for that, but X is pushing replies heavily because ads get seen more if people are scrolling through replies. So remember, we're optimizing our content so more ads are showing up, and then X will push those content pieces more because now X is getting paid for that. Remember to only have real comments. This goes back to what we discussed earlier. Don't be that NPC. Talk to people on X on like how you would in real life. The goal Goal is to leverage the posters following for eyes on your value, right? Get the poster to reply to you because this will boost your content and build real connections. Build this tribe of people who will always be engaging with you. Another powerful reply strategy is from my friend Dentes Leo. He created this thread and it outlines an amazing strategy for growing a cult-like audience who's obsessed with you and what you sell. His strategy is simple. Find similar accounts in your niche whom you consider competition. Go under their best performing posts, find comments that are asking questions, answer those questions in great detail before the original poster, drag out the conversation, X loves discussions, and use those answers to create future content. Step number two is video content. Videos are doing exceptionally well on Bunny Twitter. The more time people spend on watching a video of yours, the longer they'll spend on the app, and then X will push your content more. There are a few different styles that have led people to close seven, eight, and nine figure clients within 90 days. Myro breakdowns, raw takes, and loom breakdowns, like for example, what I'm doing with you all right now. Action step number three, talk about the trending topics in your industry. Elon wants the platform to be the everything app. This means he wants you to be the news within your industry. You don't have to talk about politics. I'm talking about, oh, Google just launched a new algorithm update, talk about it. X talked, had a new algorithm update, talk about it, like we're doing right here, be the news. The verdict is simple. Patterns repeat themselves. The objective is to find patterns in other industries and notice how to apply in yours. For example, in the e-commerce industry, everyone was only relying on Facebook ads seven years ago. Then someone's like, hey, let's add Google in. Someone else is like, hey, let's go and add TikTok in. People started adding more and they created an ecosystem. That's exactly what's happening to the lead generation space. You have to create an acquisition channel ecosystem. So it is worth it. It will always be worth it. It is a necessity to build your personal brand. You just gotta learn how to navigate through the storm. If you want this intelligence, if you want my help creating content, then you can go ahead and click the link in the description. I will help you build your personal brand into authority. If you want to get leads, we'll help you get leads. If you want more eyes on your content, we'll help you get more eyes. Doesn't matter what it is. We just launched a productized agency offer. It's a content subscription. Click the link in the description. It will help you become the authority that you need to become. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.